Algebra? Check. Chemistry? Check. How about fire stick farming and the economics of a cupcake factory? Those are just a few of the thousands of lessons available on a website that's been viewed by millions, but made by just one person. But let's say the rest of the world is doing okay. A man, a microphone, and a desktop computer in an unassuming office in Mountain View, California. All the makings of the next big Silicon Valley startup. And it could become very successful as a for-profit for entity. But in this case, this startup isn't making a dime, and it never will. Ask when you see something like this, something that looks like easy money, you must you have to say, well, there's got to be a catch. No catch here, just a man with a mission to give students a way to learn at their own pace. Sal Khan is the founder of the nonprofit Khan Academy, a website with over 2,400 online tutorials, nearly all of them narrated by him. Consider his stylus, his chalk, the computer, his blackboard. Here, technology plays a supporting role, allowing Khan to execute a classic concept. You know, I, I think it's about old principles in education. I mean, if you if you went a thousand years ago and you were to ask someone, what is the best education? And they would say, oh, well, the best education is what the king's son's getting. And it's like, well, what's the king's son getting? Well, the king's son is getting a personal tutor. But there's no trust fund needed. His videos are being watched by two million unique viewers per month, free of charge. And Khan, who left his job at a hedge fund to work on Khan Academy full time, now has A-list investors, including Bill Gates, Kleiner Perkins Caulfield buyer's John Doerr, as well as Reed Hastings, CEO of Netflix, all knocking at his door with checks in hand. They really like the scalability of it. They're, they, you know, this isn't about, what, this, this is something that, this content isn't just reaching the 2 million students who are using it this month, it could be reaching 40 million students next year, and then on top of that, you know, God forbid, if, if we got hit by a bus or something, those leaders can keep teaching. So it's, it's, it's timeless content. That investment is now allowing some public schools to profit. Los Alto School District in a town near Khan's office is integrating Khan Academy into their math curriculum. It's not my best subject, but Khan Academy has definitely helped me. He makes it into a fun, interactive game. Teachers say they can monitor their students' progress online and spend less time lecturing and more time giving kids individualized attention. After one year, they're happy with results, and they say they're not worried about job security. I don't know that this would work very well without me. I think that I am an integral part of making Khan Academy work in a classroom because you really need the teacher there to direct students a little bit and to support what they're learning. They still have questions. They still need help with those with the goal setting. Khan may not plan to turn a profit, but he does have lofty goals. He'd like to take his lessons from the web and start an actual school and eventually have his students compete with graduates from the best universities in the country, perhaps creating an accredited program that is held in as much esteem as a degree from Stanford or Harvard. Lofty indeed.